in DC. Okay. You know, um, you know, yes, living with a bag, uh, it's a new way, a new, you know, but he won't be, you know, I suspect your wife will help you with it. Yes, of course she will help him, but then, you know, um, we're not all the time 100% with him. So there will be times where he will have to learn to... Because someone told me the bag can drop anywhere sometime. No, so it's got a sticky... You will see the stubbornness, they'll explain everything. Sometimes they leak, you know, so maybe if it's in the bed and he changes position, but you, know, you can accidentally catch it. So yes, they can leak, but they don't suddenly drop off. They don't cause any damage on the inside? No, 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 no. It's attached to the skin. It doesn't it's pull. like a plaster okay. to the skin. It doesn't pull the inside when it's in no. the bag is pulled or, no. or um, stretched. In fact, I, I, I walk in every day, you know, my balance. He's really scared, like that's why he's doing regular exactly. exercise on a daily yeah. basis, no, which no. he couldn't do before, but now he's actually pushing himself because he's because we really have that scared. Chat. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it shouldn't really, you know, there are lots of people who live with a bag. You know, the biggest issue is acceptance, mentally accepting it. It won't yes. have an effect on your life. It's all accepting it mentally. Come to terms with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. So talk to this Doma team yes. and see exactly what it is. And uh, but that's what I. Will really he have a um, a, a pre-op checkup just to make sure that uh, the so you, cancer part is still. You already yeah. had. It. He's had everything, right. and uh, the cancer doesn't change in a month. You know what I mean? Okay. So I, the original plan: if you wait for three months, yes, we have to repeat the test. Okay. But uh, there's no need to repeat anything at the moment. Okay. Because I'm going to holiday three months. Where are you going? December. Go no, home. Okay. December. So, if well, I would say you need to have the operation before you go. Yeah, before operation. Yeah, that's what I say. So when you go home, people yeah. back home, they won't know anything about the back. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because they, you know, people don't talk about it. The won't make a difference to his not bag sure. attaching. But it's winter, it's going in winter, it's not that hot in winter. It's going everywhere and then it's still very hot. Yes, but... Uh, 35s, 40s, temperatures, uh, 45s. That can thing? be arranged with the stomach nurses. There are different Where's type of bags. Okay. You're going to Karachi? Karachi, yeah. Karachi, Karachi is very hot, yes. Um, but, uh, look, you have to, you will have your everything, you take it. It's all about confidence. You having the confidence to do what you need to do. And you will have to learn how to manage and to keep checking the yeah. bag to see whether so, uh, how it's uh, how much is filled up. Is shut over the building on the right? No, no. No, kapro ke andar hoga. We're inside your clothing. You have to wear. No, uh, it will be like a like a like a yeah. uh, a bag attached here, but it will be like a plaster. Mm -hmm. Um, plaster yeah. there with yeah. the bag attached to That's it. it. And, it yeah. and how big is... You will have to wear how... loose clothes. It's about, oh. There is different sizing. Okay. Yeah, so that is something that the stomach nurses have got them all and they can show you the difference. Okay. So I think it's better for you to speak well, you with them it, about it so they can actually show you how it okay. is. Okay. There is even different colors, different shapes. Okay. So they will choose what is better for you. Yeah, really small. Like and they will they okay. agree it with you. So you're yeah, part right. of the decision as well. Right. Okay. There. You know, yeah, it's, it's not without uh, its problems. I really do think uh, he. The operation on his own is a risk as well. Okay? So everything else aside, doing mm -hmm. an operation puts you at risk. How yes. many. How many can take it like in the operation. How, long, how many hours? How many hours for the, the operation? The operation is about uh, about four hours, three four hours. Four three hours. Is it? Yeah. So it's a big operation. It's a big operation. Huh? Yes. Maybe died. No. Nobody knows. Who knows? You I don't have know. you have to be positive. Yeah. He's really really worried. Yeah. You see, when you go to sleep. You go 
to sleep with the intention you may not wake up in the morning, mm -hmm. but at the same time you go to sleep as though you're going to live forever. So always be positive. It's very important because we can't control anything what is surrounding us. You know, you know there are people who. I remember the story it was uh, maybe a year ago. This young mm -hmm. lady was walking down a pavement, no more than thirty years old. You know, she had all her career, everything ahead of her. Mm -hmm. She was walking down a pavement, and mm -hmm. a, a window fell down from a property she was walking under. She died. Oh no. Yeah. You know, it, it's a shocking thing, and that's the thing that sums up life. Okay. We cannot. We never control. know. Yeah. Yes, we never know what's around the corner. You know, and and uh, so that's the thing about about these things. You know, even people who are in great health or who think, you know, nothing happens, something happens. So, all you can do is be positive. What I am proposing is not a punishment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is designed to try and minimize the risk of the operation to you. Okay. And yes, to his life. there's a new way of doing things, but with the support of your family, I'm absolutely certain you can manage it. Mm -hmm. It's all about mentally accepting it. If you go to running, yes, no. Yeah. You can. You can go running. Yeah. And that's, there's nothing you can't do. Yes, mm -hmm. Even swimming, you can yeah. do with the bag. Yeah. Yeah. What about toilet? Toilet drive is definitely not No. You will just be Aapko going to for a wee. That's it. Just for the wee? Just yeah. for the Nothing wee. He will still have the wee feeling that he needs yes. to go for a wee wee. Yes, he will feel when he needs to, to pop your in and he will go to wee. You will have a feeling that you will have to pop your in and go to wee. But you will not have a feeling that you will have to pop your in and go to wee. So, the bag will have to check the bag that you will have to pop your in and go to wee. Okay, you will have to pop your in. हाँ लेकिन फिर भी आपको जो ना चेक करना होगा उस पर नजर रखनी होगी ठीक है आंटी भी होंगी मैं भी होऊंगा फिर भी आपको सीखना भी होगा कि कैसे करना है स्मेल ये आई इस बोल रहा हूँ स्मेल एंड एवरीथिंग द बैग इस सील सो द स्मेल विल विल बी जस्ट व्हेन यू आर चेंजिंग इट और एम्पटिंग इट दे गोट ऑल्स Okay. But that's why I think it's probably better if now I go and check if the stoma nurses are back in the office. Okay. See if they can see you today. Mm -hmm. yes, if not, please. we organize another day. That's okay. Fine. And you we'll have got, a thing in the meantime. Yeah. Yes. And we'll give you a call. We've yes. got provisional date for the surgery in case. Mm -hmm. okay. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is that all right? I'll no. pop now and check okay. if the stomach right, nurses no, yes, are back in the right, office. Thank you, okay. no thank you for your nice talk. Sorry, I put my foot up. I've got an open wound ulcer in my ankle. Oh, okay. It's, uh, uh, the pain it's is. It's, uh, yeah. Thank you. All right. Let me check me. and I'll be back. Thank you. So now they're saying the uh, operation is absolutely necessary because if we don't have the operation, then he's got a higher percentage chance of. Um, not surviving, so he he's um, they're saying the continuous operation is unlikely. After the first operation, they're gonna cut the cancer part out and then um, reattaching the two cut parts. It's uh, an unlikely option because it leads to uh, leaks and infections which could lead to other health issues. So to avoid all that, they are trying to convince us to speak to the stoma department. The stoma is what the bag's called. And um, they're saying there's different materials, different sizes, different um, uh, types of bags that can be used. And they're saying it's... Uh, it's a, uh, a better option to go for. So I'm going to find out within the uh, cannabis community, um, get in touch with a few people and to see if there's any help that I can... Uh, yes. They're not there. Sometimes they do also home visits, so they probably <laughs> see some patients, yeah? Okay. So what I'll do, I'll send them an email and ask them to arrange an appointment with you, yeah? Okay. 
So. Is that all right for you to come back in to see them? Okay, yes. Because I think that will be very important for you to have more. Yeah, we need that information yes. and that yes. reassurance to exactly. uh, to be able to move forward. Yes. And to finalize the uh, the details before the operation. And the more confident he is now, it's going to lead to more confidence later on. The uh, main thing is your safety. Sorry. Yeah. As Mr. Muhammad was saying, everything he's going to do is to make sure you live longer mm -hmm. and you're safe. Okay. A okay. Big, it's already a big operation. Major operation. So without the bag, yeah. it'll be almost impossible for you. So to actually got less, go through less chance of living if the cancer if the cancer spreads without the operation then you have more chance of dying with the operation you have more chance of living age. Hmm? or long long age you want long age he wants to live, he wants to live past yeah. 100 Only. yeah i don't mm. want to die but that's why it's important to make sure that the cancer is removed mm -hmm. okay because as, as, as your son was saying, if the cancer stays there, it can either block your bowel. Mm -hmm. And if it blocks your bowel, you will be coming in as an emergency. Yes, because And you will probably be still pass. end up with the bag. Okay. Because the only treatment for a blocked bowel is to get a bag. Okay. But you will still be having the cancer there. Mm -hmm. Right, yes. Yeah. And you wouldn't know how far it spread and how far you have to Well, that will be spot. seen with a scan, but... Right. Or it spreads some other organs. Okay. Because when it, it grows, then it can go somewhere else. Okay. So at the moment, it's not spread. Okay. It's just localized there. Right. And they haven't seen anything anywhere else with the scan. Okay. So that's why it's 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 good to be removed Straight at the away, moment. Now yeah. That you've caught it early. Yeah. Before it started spreading. Okay. Or growing in the bowel, because the Plain bowel is, is like this. Okay. So if now it's small and it's here, mm -hmm. if it grows, it's going to block it. Okay. And then you will end up not being able to go to toilet. Then you have to come in for operation anyway to have, have that bag. removed, and then you will get the bag attached. If they the might, not, they, they they might not even remove it at that point mm -hmm. if it's too risky for him. Yeah. Sometimes they just do the bag. It's uh, depending on his condition. Yeah, so that's now why it's... at the moment they said that it's a, it's a good. You got, you're healthy, stable enough for you to go for a surgery. Mm -hmm. There is obviously a risk of mortality, as Doctor Lambert was saying. Mm -hmm. The need is, but without doing the joining, there yes. is less risk, and it's more likely that you will be able to go through the surgery. Okay. The joining could create other issues with uh, with the leak. Because if the joining the... is not going to is is going to leak, it's not going to be strong enough. Mm -hmm. Then it'll have major issues, and it might not even be able to leave the hospital because you get the infection in your whole bowel, and in your other, whole other abdomen. Problems. Yeah. And that's why you said that the best option at the moment for yourself is to remove the cancer while it is at this stage yes and get a bag okay. without putting your body through the whole stress of joining and dealing with the issues that may come after and it's not guaranteed that it will join the more than likely you may end up with a leak or an yeah. infection yeah okay so that's why it was important probably today to have this chat again yes because yeah. that, that bag issue him knowing somebody who's already had the operation and yeah. is with a bag at the moment who is almost half his age. It's, but as Mr. Uh, very Mohammed concerning. was saying, it's easier so that you hear someone that things that didn't go well. Mm -hmm. Because someone who has got things that are going well, they might not even tell you that they've got the bag. Yes, yes. And you won't be able to see it, then notice it. Yes, because that person, because of the hot climate uh, in Karachi, Okay. Um, they are suffering because they're saying they're getting blisters underneath the oh. bag where the, where the bag's touching uh, regularly to the mm -hmm. skin and because of the hot temperature and there's no air passing where uh, where the bag is attached it's creating there are uh, ulcers yeah um, it is, it's, it's, and he has to manage are... different ways of sleeping and yeah. change the whole 
there are creams that the stoma nurses sometimes do give the patient to put to the skin around mm -hmm. that creates a kind of a film something on top of the skin to protect it okay so there are ways there's to options. go around these problems and like you said they have different material bags that they got, will if you if you don't want if he doesn't want to see it like when he's in the hospital it'll have a clear bag okay because we need to be able to see it while okay. he's here to make sure he's working well okay but when he's is once he's at home they have uh, they have black bags all cover so it doesn't have to see anything okay and so just how will that be monitored to see if it's full oh you will see it it just gets oh, okay. full it, it just gets full okay. yes yes okay the bag will yeah puff up when it becomes full there is a, so, there is like a, so they, like what they yeah so what they're saying is that when they come come to the hospital mm -hmm. you will have to have the clear bag so that we so can, they can see monitor the color uh, and everything just for the beginning but when he's at home if he's com if he's not comfortable with seeing then he can have uh, like a black mm -hmm. uh, colored bag there is black can... bag there is pink no, and pink. then there okay, is okay, see-through okay those are the three mainly okay. so you can have a pink one a see-through one or a black one black color yeah black yeah so black one, black one. and they'll have bags that would be able to fit man manage the high climate of temperature that we can discuss with them because he is planning on going yeah to karachi for that's three why months. it's something that we can, you can discuss with them and for three um, months at the it's a long long time yeah. with the heat um uh dealing with the heat and the bag yeah i will put those things in my email yes so that when you go and see them they've already got an idea and they can show you already something that is more suitable for yourself okay so now yeah? we, now our understanding has become okay so now he needs the operation there's no choice about it and he will definitely need to have a bag and that idea is now starting to sink in uh, that we have a better understanding of what the procedure is going to be more than likely mm -hmm. so we are becoming comfortable with that idea and where's this appointment was yes. necessary for him to understand that as well and the next uh, appointment that we'll have with the stoma specialist who will be able to explain in detail further about yes. the bag and usage and the changing yes. and maintenance and everything yes okay all right. Is that all right, Mr. Yes, Sai? Yes, yes, Julie. Yeah? So you understand? Uh, what was the... You uh, the letter for letter accommodation? For, yes. Is, yes. He's really, really right, worried right. about that. Because I just brought in registration. Yeah. What, what bus? Yeah, the other uh, option they gave him was yeah, far, far into the street, so it's hard for him to get onto the main street no. to where the shops are. Okay. So there's going to be like 10, 15 minute walk just to get onto the main road. I, I, is... I, I will not be able to put down no, a request on which I can put the, I, I can write down what the diagnosis is. Yes. Okay. And what his needs will be. Okay. Yeah. Like, like non damp. Uh, yeah. To, to help with his. But I cannot say it needs to be in this no, area no, no. or it okay. needs to be That's uh, fine. in a certain way. That's fine. I understand. Yeah. I understand. All right. Okay, so you will um, do the letter you said. Yes, and, as soon as I'm back in the office. And, and post that to us. Yes. Um, um, three copies was, yep, was, uh, three photo copies and you will get these uh, in the post um, and, then, and then hopefully um we will find out the next course and uh, you will contact us yeah for uh, the date yes. that we'll have to come up with and i think there's a a, a covid test that we'll have to do three days three before. days before the operation yes so because i'll be coming in with my father i need to have the uh, test done as well i was told um I said okay. Um, you uh, will be coming because, in. like, I'll be accompanying my father oh. um, okay. when he comes in for the operation. Like, okay. like, like, as we are now accompanying him, mm -hmm. um, just to give him that bit of confidence that there is someone with him okay. and he's not on his own. Okay. Um, no, no. Well, fair enough. Yes, yeah, it's so, not something that they, you do usually, but okay. it's good if they're able but, to do that. But for they you. said that because you're coming in with him, uh, yeah. you'll also have to have the COVID test done 
So okay. because you'll be with him, so both the tests come, uh, so okay. that sort of clears you to be with him okay. um, in hospital. So that's what they uh, say. Yeah, no, I, 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 I just, if they organise that way from pre, is it from pre-op they told you that? Um, yeah, it was one of the people we spoke to last time when we came. I think there's four people okay. that we actually spoke yeah, to, yeah. including the anesthetic, the anesthetic, yeah. anesthetic person and uh, yourself and uh, th there was a... Uh, uh, a couple of others that we spoke to. Okay, so. that's good. I'll double check about it if I yes, they told you so, obviously. No, yes, please to, do, yeah. do double check because yeah, yeah, yeah. this is what I was told, and I, hopefully, this is the information I have, yes. and that's what I'm expecting. So, if they don't follow that up, then it it's messes going to be up. A bit of a, yeah, yeah, with yeah. your organization and everything. That's right, Thank yes. You. Okay. Uh, something is changed, something so he, his diet from what you mentioned last time yeah. he has gone on to more white meat uh, more fish more chicken That's more vegetables good. fruit beetroot good. um he's having that healthy is there, diet Amazing. is there anything else he, is there anything else he can do mm, not really at the moment no yes just, so just every do day like this. He, healthy eating deep breathe exercise like you. Like can you, you can you can you <laughs> can you talk him through the breathing exercises while my mum is here as well, yes. so she can watch him do it. After so the can deep see exercise. breathing exercise, he can do it sitting or lying down. He can put his hand on his tummy so that he can feel the breathing going in, yeah, or on his chest. I'll take off my mask for a moment, yeah? So we'll do a, a breathing from the nose, so... And when he does it, he needs to try and expand. So you see this raise and this goes. So it goes. And then slowly from the mouth, with the little mouth like this, you go. Breathe out gradually. For as long as you can. Oh, I see. Yeah? So you can do, it's going to be difficult. It's not that easy. So you can do just three. Three times, Three times a day, yeah? Oh, no, no, no. So if, if you prefer lying down, you can do it lying down and you would see your tummy go up. Or Rough. if not, sitting up like this. Roughly how many minutes per time that you should spend doing the exercise? Just three, three breathing. Just three, three yeah, times just breathing? Three, three hold it for a little bit and then... And you do it another two times. So if you do three times yeah, a day, that is that is good exercise. Because what you do when you do deep breathing, you expand your lung. Okay. So you fill it all with air. You kind of stretch it, like when you stretch in the morning. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and you give it a bit more of elasticity. Okay. And that will prevent any any chest infection. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We should all do it. On when, a regular especially basis. Especially with these masks, we don't breathe as we would normally no, do. we're suffocating. And as well, in general, when we breathe normally, we just do a small breath. Yes, normal breathing. We never breathing. do like a, a bigger yes. one. Yes, yes. All right. Is there anything else that he needs to do? Um, he's doing his regular exercises, changed his diet. That's great. Um, That's straight great. Away. Are you checking your blood sugar here and then? Every day, yeah, every, every day. How is he doing? Seven, six, seven, six. Great! Well no, done. No, no, no. Very good. I told her that she's looking. Looking after him. You're doing well. You know, that, that afternoon, no, he's nothing. Just controlled by, you know. Then in the time, when put, she test my sugar, six o'clock. The normal, six, five, six, seven, eight. Nothing. Very good. No, no high one. No high one. In That's the morning. right. In, In the, the morning. morning. High. Because of heat and last night. Every okay. night. Okay. And night, then you have the insulin. Nine, and nine, nine, five, ten, five, that's it. Mm -hmm. In In the morning. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's good. Just got a strict routine that he follows uh, on a daily yeah. basis. Um, it's very good. Because you eat on the morning time. You can't walk. Yeah. You can't go outside. That's true. Walking. Yeah. That's the problem. So he does it in the daytime morning, as much as possible. Nine, mm -hmm. nine, ten, nine, ten. I like it every morning. 
And now in the afternoon. When, when you will come in for your surgery, bring your medication with you. Oh, yeah. All of it, everything yes. that is on. All Just because sometimes it takes some, it takes some time for the war to get delivery. Okay. So it's better for him to have have his own medicine with yes. him just in case yes. to carry it through. So hold his bag over so his So that he doesn't mix his, uh, his dose. Okay. And you can prepare the bag now even, you know. Yeah, you need, some, some comfortable pyjama. So if okay. you want, instead of wearing, they've got pyjamas in the ward, but if you prefer his own. No, I bring him myself. Personal, so you can, yeah, yes. a pair of slippers. Yeah, I bring him myself. Yeah. Toothbrush, yeah. toothpaste. Yeah. Comb for his uh, beautiful hair. Ha ha! <laughs> you heard that. <laughs> you know what he said. <laughs> so comb for your beautiful head. <laughs> right. So thank you so much. Uh, it was, it was, uh, you, really. It's a pleasure speaking to you, and thank it's you great. for taking the time to explain to us uh, uh, and making us feel See, a bit it's, more it's an confident. It's important time of your life. Yes, that's why you need all the support that you need. Yes. Yeah, and yes. make sure that we we all agreeing on the same plan. Yes. Yes. So we no... are making this plan with you. Yes, for you. Yeah. As soon as possible. I um, worry about my wife. Mum. And she worries about yeah, you. Worries. Auntie Mum, is there any more questions you want to ask? Uh, that's all right. Thank is that you. right? You, sure? Thank you, you have my number. So yes. if you have a question when you're at home, mm -hmm. maybe you're you at home me? and you're thinking, yeah. yeah, you can give me a call. Can you possibly give me that leaflet again, please? Yes. Please, thank you. I brought it just in case. Because last time like... what happened is that I left it somewhere uh, and then we came yes. and got some more information from you. Yeah. And I was like really, really upset. How so, can I leave it somewhere? So this is the one, yeah? So this is myself. Okay. You saw Joe. Joe, Joe is the yeah, lady with the bright yeah. red top you saw okay, with me yes. the first time. Yes. yes. So that's her. And then Lisa has got a top like me. You haven't met her. Okay. But she's in the office with me. Okay. She's also a colorectal specialist nurse. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we've got Tom and Jenny. And they're our support officer. Okay. So if you call my number or their number, one of us will answer okay yeah all right if if we're not picking up because it's out of hours leave a message we'll call you the day after on the answering machine yeah. okay all right or as soon as we're free we'll call you sometimes okay. we do we go for a meeting yes so there's no one in the office just leave a message we'll give you a call okay that's all right Hello. Yeah. Hello. anyway Hello. i will i will let you out yeah thank you so much thank, thank you, you so much for your time it's probably better in oh. you go oh. careful. Yes, sorry. You go Balance out first, but okay. then I'm able to get your card out. Thank you. Okay, okay, sorry. Thank you so much. Yeah, if you if you're going out, ma'am, I'll up do it. I'll do it. Up to the Abara, you come out and then and then just clear the path. gonna go back to the uh, ambulance um, um, drop drop us home okay. um, so we need to get have a porter come yes. and pick him up yeah. yes please thank you here you're thank you yeah, so that we can organize for the porter yes please you're for welcome, transport George. thank you very much you're thank welcome you. thank you so much for helping we'll you. we'll see you soon thank, thank you, you. Okay. Yeah, but I'm not going to pass for your information. Sugar testing machine, okay. Monitor. Medicine, okay. 
Okay, all right, inshallah, see you soon. Inshallah, inshallah. Let me know when you get home. So that was uh, our appointment with uh, the uh, enhanced uh, recovery team specialist, Nurse Georgia. And there's my father now. He's been reassured um, about the. Uh, operation that needs to take place to remove the bowel cancer and um, so that is the update that we have so thank you so much for joining me uh, for this experience of uh, finding out what the doctor had to say and the nurse had to say with regards to my father's bowel cancer um, shall keep you guys updated on further developments as in when I find out. Um, oh, and currently speaking with transport and is organizing. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Take care. Thank yeah. you. You too. Bye. Bye. -bye. So, um, now we're just waiting for a porter to come and uh, collect my father in his wheelchair and um, uh, drive us home in the uh, Hats ambulance. So hopefully uh, we shall be finding out soon uh, of when the operation is due to take place. So peace, love, unity, happiness, one love to all. Um, we shall catch up soon. Peace and blessings. Stay blessed, stay medicated, stay educated and stay unificated. Blessings.